Hello everybody and welcome back to The Second Shelf and to my April book haul. Yes, uh, of course I bought books in April. What did you think? And I'm always excited, as you know, when I have new books and when I can share them with you. Um, and the first one uh, is the Louise Edrick, uh, the latest release uh, from last year, The Night Watchman. Um, and if you're following my channel, you know that, that I started this project together with Terry from Miss Terry B uh, last year, 2020. Uh, we called it Author Spotlight, Louisa Edrick, and we uh, embarked on this journey to read all of Louisa Edrick's novel, novels in chronological order. And this is the last one. We will read this. We'll start uh, um, today, uh, Sunday. Um, and then we will finish uh, end of April and then we will have read actually all 16 novels that uh, Louisa Edrick published. Uh, and then we will have to think about a new project. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, so this is the last one. And uh, again, Edric returns to the theme uh, of First Nation uh, people. This book is set in 1953, yes, in North Dakota. And the uh, one of the main characters, Thomas, is a night watchman in a new factory, the first factory to open near the Turtle Mountain Reservation. Um, and he is also a member of the uh, Chippewa Council. And it's the time of the, um, the uh, what is this act called? The Emancipation Bill, which has nothing to do with emancipation, but basically is stripping um, First Nation peoples uh, of their land. So that is the premise of the book. It's uh, one of the bigger ones, uh, over 400 pages. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to it, uh, to finishing this project and then, you know, maybe reflecting back on, on all uh, 16 books. But that's the first one I, I bought for this month. The next book I bought is Translated Fiction. Yeah, me. And that is Cécile Coulon, A Beast in Paradise, translated uh, from the French by our very own Tina Kova. Uh, and I say our very own, even though she has, doesn't have a booktube channel, but she did uh, Zoom chats with uh, Sean and uh, one with Sean and me. So yeah, I, I, I just think she's part of uh, booktube. And I she mentioned this book uh, in one of these Zoom chats that she, she was finalizing this translation because it was published in the English translation uh, earlier this year. Um, and I didn't know the author. I have never read the author, a young author born in 1990, but has already written seven books. How? I don't know. But because it's a Tina Kova translation, um, I decided that I want to read it. And I'm going to read it together with Sean, uh, Sean the Book Maniac, and Lindy, whom many of you might know as a commenter. Uh, I will leave um, her Instagram down below because she doesn't have a, a booktube channel. And we will check in for the first half, um, I think, on Sunday. So looking forward to this one. Then, of course, I also bought a book for Aussie April. Well, more than one, but we will get, get to that. But the first one I bought is a book that I have been meaning to read since it was published last year, um, The Bass Rock by Evie Wilde. Um, Evie Wilde uh, is an Australian author, and I really, really loved uh, her previous book, All the Birds Singing. So when I saw last year that she had a new book out, um, I knew that I will, I, 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 I'm oh, <laughs> not making all sentence, that I will want to read it and that I will actually read it. Um, the best, it's partly historical fiction. It's set in um, seven, the 1700s, right after World War II and in the present day. And we have three women um, in these three different time uh, slots uh, who live at the same spot in the same house even um and uh it's it's uh about obviously about the female experience about violence against women um and um yeah evie wild that's the only thing i can say so I'm really, really excited uh, to finally get uh, to this one. And the next one is a book that I um, bought for the project Read More German, which this year 
not really coming along well. I think I read two German books and it's already April. Uh, but I bought this one, a nonfiction book by Unda Hörner, uh, 1929, uh, Women in the Year Babylon. Uh, I read a previous book by her about uh, the year 1919, uh, the year uh, of the women. And what she does is she takes this particular year, 1929, um, and then she looks at um, famous women and what they did in that year. Um, I thought the 1919 book was not brilliant, but still good and interesting. Um, and I, 1929, I... Yeah, at the 20s and especially towards the end, I'm really interested. Uh, and then it's the cover with uh, Tamara Lempitska. I mean, I couldn't not buy this book uh, and support my local bookstore <laughs> and hopefully read some German in April. And then I have uh, three books that I bought in April that I'm only going to mention uh, um, um, briefly because I talked about each of them in my last Friday reads because I all bought them for buddy reads and I already started. And the first one is another Australian uh, author, uh, Tara June Wild. Uh, no, Tara June Wild. <sighs> Tara June Winch, The Yield, which was published the, uh, last year and won, as you can see, the Miles Franklin Award last year. Uh, I'm buddy reading this uh, with Brian and we started last week. Uh, the book is told in three parts. You have a letter from the 1950, 1915-ish uh, uh, from a white priest uh, telling his story about his the 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 mission and the missionary station uh, we have uh, a young woman august uh, in the present day who comes home from abroad to australia for her grandfather's funeral and we have the grandfather's diaries uh, and those diaries are about the language his first nation language um, words that he wants to preserve um, and I will keep you posted uh, because uh, I already started this uh, last Friday. Um, the same is for, for this one, a buddy read uh, with Sean, the book maniac that we started uh, a week ago. Um, uh, Tony Cade Bambera, no, Tony Cade, not Cade. Tony Cade Bambera, uh, Gorilla My Love, first published in 1972. Uh, a short story collection by this uh, African-American writer, scholar, and activist. And as I said in my Friday Reads, I have never read anything by Tony uh, Kate Bambera. And I we just checked in for the first uh, story um, on last week and on Saturday, yesterday, for the second story. And so far, I'm really enjoying the language and the story. So... Uh, this will take a while, by the way, because we only read uh, one story a week. And the last one uh, that I bought that I mentioned in my Friday Reads is a recent publication, uh, Tori Peters, a debut novel, uh, Detransition Baby, which I'm reading with Kathleen, uh, buddy reading with Kathleen. And in my Friday Reads, I checked uh, the copyright date and it said 2020, uh, but I think they probably postponed um, publication because it actually came out this year, 2021, and not 2020. But I guess... Uh, it happened with my book as well. Um, the publication was scheduled uh, for uh, September um, and then it was postponed because uh, of, you know, Corona. So I guess that that's happened to this book as well. But anyway, uh, Tori Peters is a debut author. Uh, uh, she's a trans woman and she writes about the trans people or person experience. So we have two, um, uh, three characters, uh, one of which Katrina is a cisgendered uh, female. Um, then you have Reese, who is a transgender woman. And you have Ames, who used to be a transgender woman called Amy, but detransitioned back to a man and is now called Ames and has an affair with his boss, Katrina. And Katrina uh, is pregnant um, and his ex-girlfriend, Reese, um, is then getting involved in what to do with the child. Uh, I just started this, as I said in my Friday reads, and I'm not loving it. 
spoiler alert, I'm not loving it, but who knows, maybe all changes um, uh, when we are further in because we are taking it pretty slow. Um, so we read one chapter every three or four days. So it, it, it will take probably into May uh, before I finish it. But anyway, these were all the exciting uh, new books that I bought. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, let me know uh, if there are any books that you bought in April that you want to share with me. Um, I'm looking forward to any other comment as always. And I'll see you all soon in the next one.